What's going on guys? My name is Phil and welcome back to Fallout 3. Um, today might actually be the finale or it might not be. I don't know what's going on. I need to stop saying that before the actual part start. Um, but today we're going to be following this bad boy, Mr. Prime. Um, he's been chilling, doing his thing, so uh, while he's doing this, we're going to escort him with the all of the Brotherhood and then apparently a couple of Enclave guys that they are very inconspicuous about. What is he shooting at? Something, something far away I don't even know about. Also, this gun has, like, no ammo in it. I need to right quick to, to change that up. Also, you're going to hear a bunch of explosions in this episode. Like, a gratuitous amount. It's just because of the sheer fact of, um... Well, nukes are going off like crazy. Prime has nukes. They have nukes. Whoa! What's going on here? Hopefully, uh... Was that from the Brotherhood, dude? I thought... Also, I hope my partner doesn't die in here. I mean, she's like, I know she can die, and she should have a bunch of health, but, I mean, honestly, it's fucking like, look at this thing! Look at it! It steps on you, you're gone! I kind of want a baby liberty prime, like a little tiny babble one, so I can, like, hang out with it and do all kinds of cool stuff with it. Oh! It sure is prime, buddy, old pal. But I know, but you at least be a little less violent about everything, you just mini-nuking everything you see. That's how it goes. Ooh. I wonder if I could, uh... I wonder if I can get the EXP for this. Can you just go to his head? Thank you! Boom! A little spin a Because I know I know 65 isn't a crazy mount, but 65 is something. Oh, this dude's still alive. I'll take him out. I'll take him. I'll take him out. Take him an ice cream cone. He's a good trooper. He gets sprinkles because he's... No, I don't get no sprinkles. Yeah, no fucking sprinkles. I'm not even the, like, worst of your problems today, buddy. I'm just gonna tell you. You see what's behind me? You see? Oh. 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 Why is, uh... Why is explosions happening every five seconds? Can I not sp Oh, I'm crippled. I can't sprint anymore. Can we just... What are you doing there? What are you doing? Oh, he had a missile launcher for a second. I almost kind of want to die. I'm just going to put that out there. Because, uh, what's her name said? Bye! Bye-bye! Um, yeah, that was that wasn't supposed to happen whatsoever. So, I'm going to tell her to get her ass back to the house. Because, um, that's not good. I'm not, I don't want, I don't want my, my, uh, my baby girl dying. Aw, oh, man! I'm all the way back here. How you doing? Do something. Let's do it. Wait here. Um, just, just wait, just wait here. Just wait by Paradise Falls, I'm good. Uh, I don't need to deal with this right now. I got like five jobs, six, six of them being mine. That makes 11 jobs. Uh, but yeah, I haven't played this in a little bit, so I'm kind of like off the clock of like what's going on. I just know that whenever I did last time, I just got out of the pit. And that was like a week ago. I do record these in advance, though, so obviously. But... I just know that, that this might have been, like, kind of the end of what I needed to do. So I was like, oh, whatever, whatever happens. I mean, I mean, there's side missions and stuff you can play. Wow, it's fucking, everyone's just going crazy. Fucking shaking things up. I just want the XP. It's not letting me have it because Liberty Prime has been kind of a dick. I almost, I almost don't want him here for the sheer fact of, because I like, I like XP. Can I jump over these? Are these like Obstruction his detected. thing? Composition. Titanium alloy supplemented by photonic I don't even know what that means, buddy. Does that hurt me? Oh, I can go bye bye. Whoa. See what I mean? Like, literally every five seconds something's exploding and you can't do anything. This whole this whole like episode is just gonna be explosions upon explosions. They don't even care for me anymore, by the way. They're just there. And what's cool is um if you guys actually mod in, fuck me. If you guys mod in a, uh, what are they called? Uh, like, I think it's the Liberty's weapon. You can actually get Prime's weapon, and it'll do everything it does, like, in the actual game. Including, like, uh, Hellfire. That sounds badass! I want that armor! I'm gonna take that armor. It's mine now. I'm gonna find out where... I've never... I don't think I've fought a Hellfire Trooper yet. Can I talk to you? Can I talk? Ooh. Oh, ooh, those are nice. It's gonna give me like minus like six million charisma though, I bet. What does the uh what does it do? 
damage resistance. That's a little bit better, but it, a fire resistance plus five, charisma minus one, rad resistance plus five. What have I got? So basically, it'll protect me from fire, but my energy weapons will suck dick. But I think my energy weapons are actually at plus 110. So this might actually be a little bit better for myself. I mean, it might look dumb, but whatever. Cool, cool shit. All that. What am I? Oh, energy up is 95. That's fine. Oh god, everything's exploding. Can't even go to my pit boy when things are blowing up. It's because like he's just too focused on dying. Oh look at all the uh, look at all the people that are actually like trying to text me right now. I'm doing stuff, guys. Gosh, this thing look actually this kind of thing looks kind of badass. It kind of reminds me of the winterized power armor, but. Like, if the winterized was like the enclave side. Wow! People killing, people dying. I'm just not. Pelin Vegas. Vegas? Or Vegar? Vargas! Not even close. But yeah, this this armor's pretty badass looking. I, I love it. It's so good. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start wearing that. I resist all fire, motherfuckers. Oh, can you stop making things explode, Liberty? It's like the blast radius on everything here is ridiculous, ridiculous. Everything blows up. Alaska's liberation is imminent. Oh gosh, I know Alaska, Alaska, Alaska. Whatever you're talking about. Um, can't get any of the experience from these guys, which kind of sucks. Also, I probably should have brought Fox with me because um, there's a part up here, and it's probably really, really everyone's played it once or twice in their life. Um, where? Oh, I got him! But he's, uh, boom! Right in the chest! We're like, you have to go to like this radiation chamber thing, and like, it's, ooh. This is gonna hurt, I'm sorry. Oh, that didn't hurt at all for him. Uh-oh, that's bad. Oh my god! Oh, shit! I am so sorry! Oh, Hellfire Trooper, can I scrape the armor off your fucking dead corpse? And repair my own with it? Dude was just, dude man was just hanging out, and then shit, shit hit the fan. Ooh, te I can use a Tesla armor towards it too. Eh, you know what? What else? I'm gonna do it. I mean, it's probably gets my energy. I can just get my energy weapons up normally, and plus this thing's like fucking boss status. This thing has like everything in the world, except the Tesla stuff. I think I kind of like the like the backpack. If I could just have the Tesla backpack by itself, I would. What are these missile launchers doing? Like from like way out yonder. Will fail. China will fall. China will fall apparently. God, this is You can't even fire, you just let him do his shit. He has like no he doesn't even have a health bar, he's just there. Can you uh You can't even fight Liberty Prime. I don't even think you can sh if you shoot at him, I don't think it does anything. Boom! You saw that, didn't you? You saw that. You want some of this? You want some of this? Take that. At least I can get like two experience from you guys. I don't even. I think he, uh. Ooh, that's not good. You want one more in there? Nope. Well, the whole place is on fire now, so. Well, that's good. Ooh, more text. Ooh, everyone's on fire. Is this like an actual place you can go into? Nah, this is just them hanging. Just chilling. Chilling like a villain. Ooh, got me some, uh. Some more Tesla yes. armor. I don't play power armor. Can I, uh. Am I over encumbered? I'm totally not over encumbered because I know how to. I got all this stuff. I need to get my, my repair is almost completely like full, which is great. What is that? What did that say? It was like a dash thing. Vault Tech pedometer. What? I don't. I'm about to find out what that is. Pedometer. Pedometer. Go. But I think that's from the sprint mod. Can I just put it on? Okay. Max sprint speed. Oh! Oh, okay, so I'll have to, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck around with that later because thing. I'm, I'm kind of sad that I finally get the sprint mod to work and it took me like literally like 30 parts to figure out how to work with it on a controller. It's a lot harder than everyone fucking thinks. And like, it was, it's one of the most bullshit fucking things too. You're gonna die regardless, buddy. I hope you just, you're gonna melt. Oh, well, I just took his melting corpse into nothing. I'm sorry, man. Like, you get, like, yeah, you you can level up from this, 
like once or twice, but you had to just be really, really, really good at, you know, fucking getting ahead of Prime and then killing everything before he does. Unfortunately for me, Prime has nukes on everything, and he's like, I don't want to deal with this. Can I walk through these? Are they walk throughable? Oh god, that interference sound is just killing these fucking headphones. I'm not even gonna deal with that. Come on, baby, rip him down! Oh, he got it. Cool. He just like absorbed all the energy and now he's dead. Kind of. Can I go through? Thank you. The wall didn't come down. Oh! Project added! Or quest added. Project impurity. That's a thing. That's a thing. Oh, there's peeps. Hanging out. Enclave officer not doing shit over there. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go visit my babes. God, is this gonna be like a fucking two minute episode? Just because I know how to... Fuck it. I'm just gonna run there. I, if it's already gonna be like a two second episode. Oh. I think I disabled the turrets. Oh. But I'm gonna turn them back on. Because you know what? Fucking activate that shit. No targeting data. Get them, guys! Turrets for days. Turrets for days. Boom! I don't even know if that hit anything. I can't even count that as like an actual. Can you not target my friends? Thanks. Uh oh. That was bad. I probably should have, uh, chose my shots a little wiser. Come on. Why is no- Ooh. The Mysterious Stranger, though. The Mysterious Stranger. Need him, like, no fucking bar. He just started attacking another dude. That was great. That's great. Boom. Oh, he's not dead yet. He just got critted. Boom. Again. Take that. Take it. Suck it. Suck it. Take it. Take another one. This is like the blowback gun. It's like you stand in front of them. It's like leaf blower. Boom. Or their head just flies off. That's not good either. What do they got for me? I got a nice Tesla power armor. I also got a mod so that nothing can steal my experience. So if I, at least I do a little bit of damage on them, then I'll get the experience for it. Why people be, why people be hanging? What are you? Don't know. I told you no. I told you no. I told you I need a melee mod. That's what I need. I think that'd be kind of cool to have like a like a melee weapon as a mod. I could probably check and see if they have something like that. And they probably do. Time to go into the uh, my favorite place, the uh, I don't even know what the fuck they would call this, the containment room thing. You again? That's me. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. Look, I don't want to fight at you. You don't have to. Just stand there. It'll be over quicker and might even be less painful for you. You literally have like 50 fucking million Brotherhood of Steel guys just chilling outside your fucking door. And then you have the audacity to tell me to fuck and die. You just had your life ended. In the course of 22.75 seconds. Boom! And this dude has a hole in his fucking head now. I just have this badass fucking armor that just, and like, doesn't quit. Doesn't quit. You too, buddy? Do you want some? You want a little bit of this? Y'all ready for this? Hmm. Maybe, maybe I should have kept that, uh, that energy weapons up a little more. Uh, it's not doing as much. I mean, it's not a big fucking deal, but it's, it's there. You can see it. You can see it. Ooh, Colonel Autumn's laser pistol. Colonel Autumn's douchebag form. I'm gonna take all of this good shit. He's naked. Well, that takes care of that. By now, the pride should be mopping up whatever opposition is left outside. Let's get this room secured. Skirted! Get this room skirted! Got that room skirted. Anything else I need? I mean, no, I don't need no fucking armor. It's Sarah Lyons. I'm in the control fire. room. We're both here. What's going on? I've been monitoring the equipment remotely, and we have a serious problem. The facility has been damaged during the fighting. Some of it looks accidental, some of it may have been sabotage. There's pressure building up in the holding tank. It needs to be released now, or else the whole facility could explode. To release the pressure, uh -oh. you have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now. If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage would be catastrophic. Well, so much for celebrating. One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. And whoever does it isn't coming back out. Not exactly how I imagined going out, you know? 
So, what should we do? Draw straws? You are so fucking... Like... Uh. I wish that were true. Really, I do. But you heard Dr. Lee. We have to do this right now. Or who knows how bad it'll be. One of us has to go in there. Definitely you. I'll do it. No, my guy, you do it. The hell with that. This is crazy. I'll do it. Fuck it. You're going to have to be quick about it. If the radiation is bad enough, you won't have much Dude, time. I got this. I won't forget what you've done here. No one will. Oh, this is going to be so sad and finale-ish. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, skeddies. Uh-oh, skeddy. I'm going to take this. Hello. I mean... Got all that right away, though. Got that rad X, though. I need to turn off this fucking thing. Where's the thing? Where's the thing? Where's the thing at? Where's the thing? Boop. 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 Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, so I gotta do, um... I have like a million of this motherfuckers. I don't even need this. Android component. Uh, ammo. It's under notes, I think, actually. Sprint mod. Blah, blah, blah. Toys. Ammo. Uh, diary. Note from Wild Bill. Um, schematics. Shish kebab. Uh, Harkness. Pinkerton. Pinkerton passcode. Oh. Where is this motherfucking Project Purity bullshit? Note from Ponto. Literary security. No. I did so many fucking, um... Project Purity. 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 I, I must have, like, missed it, like, a fuck ton. Man, to make sure, uh... What is the... She told me in one of the Project Purity things. So, I'm going to BS my way. We're going to talk while I, uh, do my nice little, uh... Looking it up on the internet. Because, uh, you know, that's a thing, apparently. Project Purity Code. Cool shit, man. do 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 what is the code? Oh, oh, it's mama's. It's two, one, six, enter. Oh, look at that. Look at that karma, though. Look at that karma. All oh, the fucking karma. I got this. Don't worry. Fucking Abraham Washington is just chilling in there. Being Abraham fucking Washington. Abraham Washington, not George Washington. Not Abraham Lincoln, Abraham Washington. Aww. Aww. I'm gonna die now. So yeah, if you guys haven't played Fallout 3, this is technically the end of Fallout 3, or originally the vanilla version of it was. Um, ending. And so it was that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the Lone Wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child, selflessness, compassion, honor, Guided this noble soul through countless trials. I'm pretty awesome, and aren't I? I'm a pretty cool guy. I'm a pretty great guy. Just showing me cutscenes. But it was not until the end of this long road that the lone wanderer learned the true meaning of that greatest of virtues sacrifice. Stepping into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity. The child followed the example of the father, sacrificing life itself for the greater good of mankind. Ah! Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last. Free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. So, like, is the water good to drink now? So ends the story. I bottle of the shit up. Wanderer. 
who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. The annals! But the tale of humanity will never come to a close. For the struggle of survival struggle is, real. is a war without end. And war never changes. War never changes. Dun, dun, dun. Until you get the DLC. What's going on here? Is it me and Pa? It's me and Pa. It's me and Pa. I looked. I was a. I was a cute kid. Look at that. It's like there's a DLC that just adds to the game so that you don't die. Huh? Gosh. Okay, guys. Yeah, anyway, that was the, the, after that cutscene where it showed you on the picture. Technically, the game is supposed to be done. Um, but because I got it on a Steam sale with everything else. Careful now, careful. Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine. You're safe. You're in the Citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up, despite assurances to the contrary. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. Was in that. Where is there? Yes, yes. She's fine. Oh, she will be. I appreciate your concern for her, but really don't worry. You've been through enough. It's all right, you're safe now. You're in the Citadel. There was some sort of energy spike as the purifier started. You and Sarah were knocked unconscious and brought here to the infirmary. We've been watching over the two of you for days. I'm glad to see it's paid off. Indeed it did. The tidal basin is full of fresh, clean water now. We've been working to see that it's distributed to as many people as possible across the wasteland. In fact, I'm hopeful that soon we won't be referring to the wasteland any longer. None of this would have been possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt we shall ever be able to truly repay you. Yes. We most certainly did. Between your help in destroying their headquarters and their subsequent defeat at the Purifier, the Enclave was thrown into disarray. Liberty Prime has been assisting our forces in removing any remaining Enclave forces. Well, that's really up to you, isn't it? The Brotherhood has a clear plan of action. The remnants of the Enclave must be swept away. The Pride has been working to this end ever since we took the Purifier back. The only remaining question is whether we can count on you to help us. Indeed. We can use every able body available to us. To that end, I am going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. Before you do anything else, please speak with Scribe Rothschild. I'm sure he'll be pleased to see you again. He can brief you on the details of the last few weeks, as well as where our efforts are focused now. I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal, but the sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can put an end to all this. Talk to The outcasts are a result of my greatest mistake, but a mistake I'm proud of nonetheless. When I came here, I realized for the first time that the Brotherhood's technology could truly save the survivors in this wasteland. I chose to help them, even if it meant putting the Brotherhood's interests at risk. Some of my soldiers called me a hero. Others called me a traitor. The dissenters left my command, calling themselves outcasts to mock me. I cannot fault their dedication, even if I find them lacking in compassion. 
Uh, that's part of the brotherhood. Oh, the uh, perfection of humanity. That's enough about the outcast. Yeah. Bye bye. I have to go now. Bye. Anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe if you guys have any ideas for games I should play in the future. Oh, wake up. Wake up. Leave it in the comments below. If you guys could test me a like, it would help me out so much. Other right, than that, guys, tune in for Brotherhood of Steel thingy, whatever. We're doing Broken Steel next time. Cool, guys. Stay classy.